Okay, so now today we're going to talk a little bit about frequency and how important it is towards manifesting your best life in 88 days. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer. I am a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. I cannot write you a prescription, but I can give you a good essential oil or crystal to use. Now, here we go. Frequency. Why is frequency so important in this manifestation process? Frequency is, when you think about it, frequency, we think of it in the way of sound, of energy, of vibration at a specific rate. So this is going to be a little scientific, so just follow me. Frequency, when you think about it, is the frequency or the um how fast or how slow an atom or a subatomic particle or something like that is vibrating. It, it then, right, frequency of vibration. That's what I want you to think of this as. So we know frequencies when we hear sounds, Okay, there are electrical frequencies. And if you really think about it, have you ever like passed by a, a an electrical wire or you even when you go past like let's say your frig- refrigerator or something like that, there is an electrical vibration, electrical current that's going through the wires and through the motor and all of this and it then creates what do you hear you hear a hum this is how you know that certain things are working in your house or if you go underneath sometimes you can actually hear that hum when you go underneath like electrical cables outside sometimes you'll hear a slight hum or you go past um past something that's a motor or something that's running and you'll hear this hum that is that is what's happening is is because this item this this thing is moving um at a specific rate okay or frequency it causes a vibrational uh, it's a cause of vibrational field to be created in the atmosphere, in the air. There's particles, even though you can't see the particles in the air, there are particles, there are atoms in the air that you're breathing right now. And even in what you're listening to right now, the sound of my voice is making a vibration in the airwaves that then when that vibration hits your eardrum, your brain, your body then hears this and it translates this frequency, this vibration into letters, into sound, into, you know, all sorts of things. So it translates that sound and then your brain says, okay, she's speaking words or she's singing a song or the refrigerator is running or my computer is running Whatever the case is, the freak, the frequency is a measure of how fast things are moving. And then that vibration of those things then will translate into different um, results that our bodies then understand, that our bodies then, then say, oh, this is what this is. Okay. So we hear a bird chirping. We know that the bird chirp, the chirp of the bird at that frequency is different than the bark of a dog, than the, than the, the meow of a cat, than the roar of a lion, than the speak, the speech of a person. Everything, no matter if you can hear it or feel it or not, has a frequency. The couch that I'm sitting on, each of the atoms that make up the fabric the wood, the stuffing of this couch, it's moving. It has a frequency. It has a vibration. It's moving at a very, very slow rate, which makes it a solid. Okay. So the frequency of air molecules are, is extremely fast. So our eyes can't see it, right? When there's wind, we can feel it right? We can feel the air moving, but you don't see it. 
okay? You only see the movement of air if there is a denser particle that's being carried on that frequency. That is the same way that the life that you are manifesting over this time period, that's the same way, that's the same principle. That life that you have now have a clear vision of, that life that you can see, that life that you can imagine has a frequency. It has a vibration. And until you are vibrating, until your being, right, is vibrating at that same frequency, you're not going to see it manifest into your life. So the reason why we're, we've been going through all of this process, and we'll keep revisiting this process bit by bit over these 88 days, the reason why we go through this process of shadow work is to root out the frequency of trauma, the frequency of fear, the frequency of doubt, because those frequencies have been programmed into your being, into every cell of your being, not just your brain. Like that just kind of like sets everything that's happening in your third dimensional being. But that frequency is literally programmed into every cell of your body so that you're living the life that resonates with that frequency. So the purpose of affirmations, the purpose of shadow work, the purpose of all of these things of meditation is so that the vibration, your frequency set point, your, your, your normal, right? We all have a resting heart rate, a resting blood pressure. So until your resting vibrational frequency is at whatever level it is that you wish to manifest in your life, until those two are equal, you're always going to, it's not going to, it's not going to mesh. It's not going to come into your life. Now, what I don't want you to feel like is say, oh my gosh, how long is this going to take? Right? We don't want to do that. Or get really down on yourself if every once in a while you're just kind of like, oh man, like I, I missed it. Like today I was very low vibrational, right? We don't want you to do that because you're still human. You're going to have ups and downs. The key through this 88 weeks, 88 weeks, 88 days is to make sure that those ups and downs aren't huge swings in your frequency level, that your frequency chart doesn't have really high highs and really low lows, that it's just kind of right? It's very close to norm. So as we're raising the vibrational set point, we're also lowering the variations of frequency so that we kind of even it out. So that if we need to course correct and get back up, then it's super easy, right? It's like, oh, wait, that's what that is. And then we go back because we recognize it we recognize it for what it was or what it is and until and so that we don't like fall way back down we course correct we raise our vibration back if you're vibing higher there ain't no problem right it's but but you also don't want to have these huge swings where you feel so euphoric about something that then you kind of stop doing your work that's something else we're going to talk about but we want to keep it very even. We want to keep things very neutral. We what we don't want huge swings. And if you're going to swing, I'd rather you swung way high than swing way low. So that's the concept of frequency. All right. So now tell me down in the comments below, does this make a little bit more sense? Like, had you ever thought about it this way? How do you see this operating in your own life? Can you identify highs and lows, huge swings? And can you see why staying in this neutral zone may actually help you a lot more? All right, guys, don't forget, give me a like, a share, a follow, a subscribe, wherever you're at. And don't ever stop giving permission to your purpose to provide for your person. We'll talk to you soon.